Hi, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. I love Halloween. In fact, uh, between Halloween and Christmas, those are my two very favorite holidays of the year that we celebrate. Halloween, there are so many amazing books out there that you can read to your children just to entice the whole entire spirit of the season. I want to talk about one of those books today, one of our family's favorite books, and it's The Widow's Broom by Chris Van Allsburg. When you think about Chris Van Allsburg, most of us think about either Jumanji or The Polar Express. Allsburg has an amazing way of helping children as well as adults to think critically because in many instances he kind of leaves you hanging so that you have to formulate the rest of the story and how everything is turning out and the widow's broom is no different it's about a widow who is very lonely and her name is uh, Mena Shah and this is how the book starts out witches brooms don't last forever they grow old and even the best of them one day lose the power of flight on very rare occasions, however, a broom can lose its power without warning and fall with its passenger to the earth below, which is just what happened one cold autumn night many years ago. Well, Minasha wakes up one morning, she goes out into her garden, and there she sees a witch who has fallen to the earth with her broom, and she's hurt. And uh, Minna, being the kind, sweet person that she is, she takes in the witch, and she nurtures her back to health. One morning when she wakes up, the witch is gone. She doesn't know where she's gone, but one thing that she has done is she's left her broom behind. Very quickly, Minna learns that that broom is magical. The broom can sweep, the broom can play the piano, the broom keeps her company. Well, eventually the people in the village, and you can see with all of the pictures, they're all in sepia tones, and it almost looks like a throwback to the, the Salem witch trials. So you can see all of these pictures, they're amazing. Chris Van Allsburg always is such an amazing artist. So, and these are in sepia tones. And so eventually the people in the village find out about the widow's broom. They find out that it has some ma magical quality. So they immediately leap to the conclusion that this is a bad, evil, wicked thing and it needs to be destroyed. So some of the hierarchy of the village come and they pay a visit to Minasha and they tell her this broom needs to be burned. Uh, just like they burned all the witches at the Salem witch trials. And so Minna says that she will take care of it. Now, here's where it gets really interesting for your kids. It doesn't exactly say everything that she does, but it points out some things that Minna does. And when the villagers come back, they're satisfied that the broom has been destroyed. But here's an opportunity for you to ask your child, so what did Minna do? What did she do to basically... Um, fool the, the people in the village is also an opportunity for you to talk about bigotry and how bigotry throughout the ages has caused the death of a lot of people. And so this is a fun book. It's a creative book. It's one of those that your children will love to read at Halloween over and over again. I talk extensively about this book as well as other books in my blog. I also talk about different ways that if you're going to read a book, particularly around Halloween, how you can set the stage, set the mood, dim the lights, give everyone a flashlight, have something sweet or salty. And there's another, a number of other different ways that you can create this wonderful, spooky kind of a mood when you read this book and other books. I would put this at the top of my list. I would, um, I know at different bookstores when my kids are growing up that this is the number one book that was sold out very quickly. So get your copy or go to the library and share The Widow's Broom by Chris Van Allsburg with your kids. This quote that I'm going to leave with you today is by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And he says this, where there is no imagination, there is no horror. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.